Hey guys, welcome back. Um, the whole electricity thing, I guess I overthought it and uh, I looked on the switches and I didn't see any uh, GFI reset buttons. So I didn't see it, so I was like, oh, I guess I'll have to go to the basement. But then uh, my, I, my dad got home and I asked him and he said that there should be a button. So I looked a little bit closer and yeah, there was a button. So I just clicked it, reset it, and everything was back in business. So it must have been from the storm that we had and it must have like tripped it somehow. So uh, glad everything's back. And today I will be making this glass holder thing, not glass holder, for glasses. And basically it just sits right in there and um, it's a pretty cool project. Now the plans and all that are from Steve Good. So I will leave a link in the description to his place. And he actually has this thing called the Scroll Saw Workshop Catalog. And he has a ton of free plans for scroll saw stuff and like that. And he's printed out and you can cut it out really easy. I really like that website, so thank you to Steve and thank you to William Wilson for giving me the idea to make this. So uh, thank you guys both and I'll have Steve's link in the description. So let's get started. Now this project you can print off the template and everything and you should use spray adhesive or something like that but I don't have any on me mine actually got clogged so I'll have to buy a new cap or a new uh, spray adhesive but what I'm going to do is tape it down just like I did in the olden days so what I'm going to do is just cut this out pretty much in the general shape and basically I will just tape it on now like I said if you have spray adhesive that works really well too but if you don't, you can always go to tape. And I like this project because you don't need a whole lot of wood. And it's, um, it's a great project that you can use in exotic wood or something like that. But I actually just have cherry and that's a hardwood. But um, I really like the look of cherry when it's done. So I'm going to be using this. And I cut it just so it fits it. And I have a little bit of room to play around with. But when I put the, the template on, I'm going to line the bottom up right on the bottom of this so that everything is flush and I don't have to worry about cutting out a straight line of my scroll saw. Alright, so I'm over on my scroll saw and if you can tell it all, uh, I tried to get rid of a lot of this rust with scotch Bright, and it looks like I missed a few spots but uh, like it's the same method I used on my table saw and I think it, it had a lot of surface rust and it's just a good idea to get it all off. So I, that's really convenient how easy it is but anyway let's just start cutting this out. So I have this all cut out and now I can just slowly peel it off and as you can see it all pops off very nice and easy and now you kind of have this um, this face with the nose and the mouth and the chin and then right in there is where the glasses go. Now before I start sanding all this I'm going to cut out this piece right here that says half inch thick but I'm not actually going to glue the template. I'm just going to cut it out by the, the, um, by the actual dimensions of it. And I'll probably end up doing that on my table saw. What I'm going to do here is pretty simple. First, I'm going to make a cross cut. So I need to measure out two inches. And then I'm going to take my uh, speed square, set it up, and draw a line. Now what I can do is just make a cross cut and then I can uh, rip it to the final dimension. And now what I did was 
is I set my fence to three and a quarter inches and I'm just gonna use my push sticks and slide it right through to cut it to final size. Here I have my two pieces. I have my head guy and then I have my base and I also gave it a quarter inch round over to kind of dress it up and make it look more fancy. Now I'm not going to show how I gave it a quarter inch round over. I just used my router table but I know the way that I did it. I would get a lot of crap for how I did it so I'm just not going to even bother showing it. But I gave it a quarter inch round over and now I have the head. Now what I want to do is sand the two pieces and I did get a lot of burn burn marks on my uh, piece that I routered, but that, that can just sand right off. So I'm gonna sand my pieces pretty well. Then what I'm gonna do is just simply glue it right on. Cause this doesn't have a lot of stress taken on it, you don't really need to do anything else. If you want, you could add a few uh, nails in the bottom or a few screws, but I'm not even gonna bother cause this thing is not gonna get a whole lot of stress. It's like a picture frame. You, you can add extra, but there's really, there's not really a need to here. So I'm just gonna sand this all down and glue it together. And now I'm gonna lay a bead of glue right along the bottom. And now what I'm gonna do is just kind of take it and just set it on the stand. And you know, you can just center it with your eyeballs. And as to gluing and clamping pressure, uh, you can't really clamp it, so. Just give it one good push. And that should be good. So now I'm just gonna let that dry out for a little and then I can apply the stain. Well guys, here's the final product and I think it came out really good. I do like the look of the cherry and I just used the lacquer finish and the bead really helps, um, it really helps, you can't really see that well, but it helps dress it up a lot and I'll probably just give this give this away to someone so uh thank you guys for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more woodworking videos every tuesday i'll see you guys next week and don't forget to uh check out steve good's website and all that because he has a lot of cool scroll saw stuff so if you guys are into that then they're really simple projects he has stuff for christmas halloween all throughout the year a lot of cool stuff go check it out and thanks again to william wilson for the idea of it so Thank you guys a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.